conservation photography and environmental education to help people uh, basically see and understand our natural world so that they can choose good environmental behaviors. So some of the projects I've done are things like working with gopher tortoises down in Georgia. Um, these animals live in the southeastern United States and they make burrows in the ground. Um, this mining company was going to come in and take off the uh, topsoil and the minerals underneath that. So these tortoises would actually be entombed or buried alive if we didn't remove them. So this mine company contracted with environmental um, consultants to actually come in and locate the gopher tortoises and remove them and then take them to another area before they mine this so that those tortoises could continue living and still reproducing and being um, active members of that population. <laughs> so doing photos like this can help people understand some of these good behaviors they can choose. So this mine company could choose to not do that or they could choose to do that. So using photos like this to show others what choices they can make. Um, I do community engagement activities. So I've both hosted and taken photos of these sorts of things. And this is to get people involved in conservation efforts. So we want to show people what they can do, that they can be a part of conservation stuff. And this is a couple of marine debris cleanups that were going on. And I've also done things like bird banding or native um, seed collection, stuff like that to get people engaged in conservation. I also use photos to educate about environmental issues. Sometimes we just need to see what's going on out there and see that there is an issue. These are some photos from my master's thesis when I was working on uh, people discarding cigarette butts onto beaches. So the issue there is that a lot of people don't understand that cigarette butts actually don't degrade in our environment. They, they stay around. Uh, when you see a photo like this, you probably think that's cotton. But actually, those are microfibers. Uh, so when the filter breaks down, it actually leaves those fibers in our environment. And also, there's 10 different heavy metals that leach out of cigarette butts. So things, photos like this can be used to show organizations that there is a problem and that we need to work on changing those people's behavior. I also do photos to inspire an appreciation of nature, uh, showing people some unique things that are out there and getting interest in the environment and saying like, wow, that's really cool, I've never seen that before, how can I learn more about that or how can I come to care about that? So things like um, piebald deer, I got to see one of those down in Georgia, that was pretty cool. And then stuff a little more locally, seeing um, red leaves in the spring. I don't know if you guys ever knew that, but red leaves actually come out in the spring and the tree will do that to protect it from um, frost. And then we can use photos to talk about some of our conservation efforts, like our bison herd that's out in Miniopa and um, bringing bison back from the brink of extinction and trying to keep those around. So an important part here is that I'm more than a photographer. Um, photos are a way that I communicate and that I, I educate. So my background is actually in um, human dimensions of natural resources is what I got my master's degree in. So that's working with people and their behavior, understanding environmental attitudes and how that can play into people supporting or not supporting environmental actions. And then I have a Bachelor of Science degree in Wildlife Management, so I have about seven or eight years of field experience doing different um, field studies, working out in these uh, ecological systems and understanding them. And then I'm also a certified interpretive guide, so I've taken training courses and had a lot of experience interpreting different uh, environmental concepts to people that they might not understand otherwise. So again, I use photography, but I communicate through that photography and educate to get people to change their behaviors and have good environmental behaviors. So a couple of things I'm looking for from you guys. Um, I'm trying to find out about, yeah, this is a photo of a gecko that was at a, um, it was actually at a reptile show. But he looks like he's waving, so I thought it was pretty cute. Um, but I'm looking to find out about some environmental stories around here. So I'm from the Mankato area, but I've actually been away for a couple of years. So now I'm trying to reconnect with the community and um, learn a little bit more about what's going on here than I might have known when I was here um, previously. So if you guys have any stuff that is related to the environment, stories that need to be told, or local environmental issues that people are working on, I'd love to know about those. And then. If you have connections to people that are working on those issues, that'd be great for me to find out about too. Uh, especially if you have the ability to send an introduction email, just say like, hey, I saw Miranda presenting on this stuff at One Million Cups. I think you guys should talk. 
um, that would be super helpful because it's a little bit difficult to connect with people just cold calling or cold emailing. So any of that sort of stuff. And then I also have business cards up here that if you would like to take one, I would appreciate it because you might not think of anything at the moment. But ideas always come later. So you can take one of those too. Or you can take a picture of this slide. This is all my contact info, my website, Facebook, Instagram. Um, and FYI, I heard a lot of giggles, so I'll just explain this photo. Um, this is out in Nebraska when I was out there for my master's thesis. This is a prairie dog, and he was um, pulling up some grass and eating it, and I actually got this photo published in the Nebraska uh, magazine, so that was my first published photo and paid for, so that was exciting. But that's my presentation. Thank you.